well, 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 well. Fuck you, man. You don't know DJ Marty. Hey. You better preach. You may disagree, but up to me, it's a fact. You can't run in backs. It ain't no fun in that. Yeah, the sermon about to start, so I hope you know your stats. And if Kev get it wrong, then Rashad gon' have his back with, with the facts. Matter of fact, all we do is say win. Wins when wins, congregation say amen. Trades, debates, wins, losses, the latest news, but profit can't. I'm walking to Preach Kev, Preach with Rashad, an episode, another sermon coming with your Wildcard Sports on Wildcard TV. Rashad, the NFL season is kicking off. Uh, if you listen to this early in the morning, before Thursday Night Football, we got football this weekend, man. Uh, um, it's going to be a great time. Week one is around the corner. Well, it's, it's here now. And this is our last Profit Playoff episode. This is the actual playoffs. We've already went through who's going to win in each division. Make sure you go back and tune that, why we did that. But this is all about playoffs, Rashad. How you doing today, man? Man, we are, what, today's the sixth, so we don't like Less than we're about 24 hours away from the official kickoff because the game will probably start tomorrow around like eight. <laughs> so we're basically a day away, man. So we almost there. We record all the episodes. So now it's just kind of putting the bow on everything. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, ex- I'm excited for this one. I mean, this one basically is just telling us, you know, where, where our thoughts at, you know, um, how far we, how, like, where we think it should go, how it should play out pre preseason of what we know. And then we'll come back midseason and see, you know, how are we on pace for it? Um, has it been a big injury where we need to change gears? And we'll, we'll 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 bring that back up. But let's talk about last year, the profit playoff theory last year, 2022 season, where we predicted Rashad, 10 out of 14 teams made it, um, made the playoffs last year. So here are the four misses, okay? So let's you know, we talk about good things, we gotta talk about the bad too, right? Let's talk about our, our bad misses. We had two AFC South teams make it. That was not the Jacksonville Jaguars who actually did make it. We had a huge, um, we had uh, Indianapolis Colts, and we had uh, the Tennessee Titans. Uh, they did not make it. And then in the NFC, we had Green Bay, Green Bay Packers, and the at the time Super Bowl Super Bowl champions at the time Rams, um, I believe so. So we you know, we had them coming back, and uh, obviously injuries played a part. But we had Green Bay Rams. Uh, Tennessee and Indianapolis making the playoffs. So let's just start real quick. Tennessee, Indianapolis, man. Um, what do you think we, I guess, where, where we go wrong there? I guess because Colts was kind of way off. Titans was, wasn't too bad. Uh, the Colts was just primarily thinking the Falcons moved on from Matt Ryan. So, I mean, you just look at what they had done with Frank right before that. They had Rivers. They were a playoff team. They had Carson Wentz. If they didn't botch two games, you know, just hearing that it had been the playoffs again. So you're thinking, well, Matt Ryan still has a little bit of juice left in the tank. They're just bringing in a new veteran. If the offense stays the same, they'll be a playoff team. But Matt Ryan was not that good. The team also was not that good. Right. And they just – they were losing a lot of games, like, badly. Yeah. And <laughs> like, it, they, did not, they did not look good out there. I was going to say, then on the opposite side of history this year with my Vikings – down 30-something points at halftime, and, and you lose the game. Like, those type of things <laughs> do not get you to the playoffs. Um, but doing stuff like that. Titans, I think Titans had really pretty much a, a riddle in, like, injury, like, year where Derrick Henry, you lose, you don't really have a receiver one. We had to lose A.J. Brown. So, you had, you had an uphill battle to climb there, and they just couldn't do it. Uh, but the Jacksonville Jaguars did win the division. Uh, but Titans weren't too far off. They weren't too far like- off. Almost fired their coach mid-season and brought in Jeff Saturday. Jeff was on TV. <laughs> Bad decisions. So, like, I mean, it was – we – I mean, this is going to be honest about it. Like, the, the Colts thing was doomed from week one because they, they went to OT and tied with the Texans. So, it was doomed from there. Yeah. Uh, I thought, you know, we had a little bit of hope for them because they did beat the Chiefs in week three. But it, like, bro, they were they, at week seven. They were three, three, and one. They were basically five hundred. But yeah, it went, it went downhill quick after that. Yeah. <laughs> the decision to fire Frank Wright was crazy. Um, like I said, the the Titans had an injury history of the year, and one it's one of those years, right? When you, I think they was a one seed the year before or something like that, and they just it was just kind of hard to to get back to that point. So Titans, Titans missed as well. But Titans, Titans, I mean Titans. They 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 run trying to run it back one more time and see before they 
would fall off. So well, the, the Titans collapsed. I mean, they started off 0-2. They lost to the two New York teams, Giants and Bills. Went on like a crazy win streak because they were 0-2. They got to 5-2. and uh, They lost to the Chiefs in like an OT game, something like that. It was Chiefs or Bengals. Yeah, it was, like, it was at, uh, Malik Willis night against the Chiefs. And then I remember they were like 7-3, and 7-4, and four, but they lost every game after that. So they just basically fell apart. So we were going in; they were going in the right direction. So were the Colts, but you hit a snag and it goes downhill. Yeah. Uh, on the NFC side, the Rams. I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> I I don't know what to begin with the Rams. I guess you, you got smacked by the Buffalo Bills week one. You beat the you, you beat Falcons. You beat the Cardinals. You beat the team you're supposed to beat. Can't for some reason you can't beat Kyle Shanahan, and then you pretty much five hundred the whole season. He was there, and then injuries just hit you, and you just <laughs> lose to the Cardinals, lose to the Bucks, um, lose to the Saints, lose to the Chiefs, lose to Seattle. Like the, the the win streak went crazy. I mean, a lose streak went crazy, and you just couldn't recover with so many losses. Then you got like a little wake up call and scoring fifty one against the Broncos way back when, when nobody could score over fifteen against the Broncos. But you know that was a little too late then. So the Rams are just playing that five hundred football, and then you cannot hit a a, a mean losing streak like they did even with the injuries they had. So if you're doing that, you're not making the playoffs. Yeah, the Rams basically were the same thing as the Colts. Uh, they were 500 ball through week six, and then they proceeded to lose six straight games. Uh, Stafford had some injury stuff. Cup uh, was putting up undeniable numbers, <laughs> and then he uh, got injured. And at that point, you were just trying to salvage the season best way you could with – uh, you know, just seeing what you have for the future. The Allen Robinson thing didn't pan out for him as a wide receiver, too. So, you know, they just didn't have a a promising year. I mean, it started out with some, you know, maybe we can get it going. But the bye week was probably the worst thing that happened to them because they, they just started losing. <laughs> and, then, and then the same thing happened for the Packers. At, at the time, they was 2-2. Two and two. Opening weekend didn't look great for them, but then they got together two and two. Then a, a five game losing streak. Like you, you, can't, you can't, you can't. If you're gonna make the playoffs, a five game losing streak should not be in your forte because you got too many 50 50 games, especially when you have like a t- the first place or second place schedule. So somebody coming to get you, and that was that was not it for the Packers. So basically, all the teams had the same thing. You had a lo- hit a losing streak, and it's, it's over with. Like for Green Bay, yeah, they, they had a five game losing streak early in the season. We we know what was going on with them, but all they had to do was beat the Lions one time, and they were in the playoffs. Right. So we, we lost times. Yeah, we was right there on that one. So I mean, that's a you know we were right right there on the edge of that one, and they couldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, their, their their record we were off, but like if they if they win, they did one just one game against the Lions. They would have been okay because they I mean they they beat the Cowboys in overtime. So like they had the potential. They beat the Cowboys in overtime. They beat the Dolphins uh, on the road. Evan to Philly. Uh, they they beat the Dolphins at Miami. Um, I can't remember if, if two have played again or not, but I know they beat the Dolphins in Miami. Uh, they beat Miller. Like they kind of heat up. They got on the four game street. They beat the Bears, Rams, Dolphins, and Vikings, and then you just couldn't get past the Lions. Yeah, I about to say usually you relax and, and trust Aaron Rodgers, but they couldn't get it done um, in that game. And Lions, Lions able to able to eliminate them. And I think Lions took because of that win took a second place schedule because of that. So you know it may work out for Green Bay this season. We'll find out. Um, so now that was our last year. Every every other team we hit, man, we hit Baltimore, Cincinnati, Buffalo, Kansas City, even hit the Chargers, um, Tampa Bay. Very, was, that was a struggle, Rashad. We, we really shouldn't hit that one. But we did anyway. Minnesota, San Francisco, Dallas, and Philly. 71% for the theory, man. I think Rashad is pretty good. That's sec- that's two years in a row where we're hitting 70% or higher. So let's see what we can do with this time. Let's let's see if we can let's see if we can get above uh let's see if we get eleven out of fourteen at least um this year. So let's start on the NFC Rashad. Um we we've already we've already went through the teams who win. So let, let's just let's just go with uh you know what? Let's let's start right individually, right? So my my NFC um, my one seed is San Francisco, tied with the Eagles for the one and two. Lions win the division at three, Saints at four, 
Cowboys, who got the same amount of wins as the 49ers and the Eagles, but fifth uh, coming third, uh, second place, the Eagles. They're the, uh, what, for the fifth seed. The Vikings uh, at the sixth seed in Seattle is my seven. Um, for I mean, for me, I, I like the seven. You're talking about you're talking about 49ers who just paid both of their Versailles. The strategy is to pay everybody but the quarterback <laughs> in this in this in this case, Bosa just got a mega deal. It's crazy how they're able to afford these people, and they. I mean, it's they. <laughs> I would just paying for quarter, like not paying quarterback. That's crazy. That is that is crazy. Um, Jalen Hurts who got a bag this year. I mean, really, if we look at all all the teams I got, we we got are QB based except 49ers. Like we rank the NFC NFC quarterback because these guys are pretty on on, on the high end. Um, so I'll let you re- reveal reveal your reveal your ranking. And then we'll go to the theory part. I mean, we basically have the same thing for the NFC, just probably a slightly different order. Uh, you have 49ers, that's the one seed, so do I. Eagles, that's the two seed, so do I. And that basically replicates last year where Philly was the one and uh, 49ers were the two. So just kind of flip-flop from last year's playoffs. Uh, you have the Lions at three, Saints at four. I have the Saints at three, Lions at four. Uh, and then just five, six, seven, just same teams, different order. I have Seattle at the five, Minnesota at the six. So you have Minnesota at six as well. And I have Cowboys at my seven. You have Cowboys at your five. So we have the same teams, just different order. So we just it just comes down to who's higher on which team and who's lower on which team for us. Yeah. So here's here's a theory we, we reveal. I'm going to reveal in order of. Um, the theory as far as uh, the our like equation that we have. Uh, so Eagles had the lowest number. So Eagles, 49ers, uh, Vikings, the other Saints, and then the wild card teams, Cowboys, Lions, and Seattle. Yes, ding, 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 ding. The theory says the exact same thing that we're saying, just a different pretty order. Um, so I, because the theory has the same thing and you have the, what I have, I am very confident that – these teams will make it. Now, one thing I didn't get to mention was usually six to eight teams don't make it back or make or how you want to say that, whether they six teams miss it uh, from last year and eight, you know eight new teams, however you want to say it, usually about fifty percent make it back. So we're we're having in the NFC, we only we have two newcomers, and that's the New Orleans Saints and the Detroit Lions um, as as guys who didn't make the the, the playoffs last year. So um, two and new the guys. Saints are- Bucks because the Bucks were the Bucks got in by default as division winner, and we have the Saints in now as the division winner, and we took out the Giants, who was the third team from the NFC East, which is um, kind of rare, honestly, to get three teams in, right. and we put the Lions in. Yeah, so but everything I, held steady. Yeah, so I think I think as far as far as variables, so the teams that are outside looking in, um, Giants. Rams, Packers, and surprisingly, the theory has the Panthers high. We don't, but the the, the theory the theory value the Panthers uh, pretty high in this. Um, those are the four teams on the outside looking in. Um, so you know, I, I know I know a lot of people think the Giants can can re- Daniel Jones make that leap and get better as a quarterback. Packers has a good chance to win the NFC North. Uh, their odds are not too far behind the Lions and Vikings. And then um, the Rams, if they just get it together and be healthy, it's possible, right? And the Panthers, you're just hoping for, I mean, is Bryce Young the guy, your number one pick? Can you show us? So those, those four right there on the outside looking in. Um, really, the entire NFC South is viable right. because, uh, you know, speculation has the Falcons improving, which if Ritter does anything, you got to think they could be an improved team mm-hmm. because they have done Kyle Pitts, Drake London. You bring over Jesse Bates, AJ Terrell. You got to think. The NFC South, th- that spot is going to put in someone new regardless. Yeah. Do they get two teams in? I don't know, but that there is no way the books make it bad. No. Let's just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with you on that one. So I, I'm, I'm excited for the NFC side just because, like, this first time that we ever had the exact same – this is the first time we ever had the exact same teams as a theory. Like and we all all of us had the same one, so I'm interested to see 
um, how how well we get this side last year. We like I said we missed two on the NFC side, so we'll see if we can get all seven. I I have a, I mean, if the line if the Lions are supposed to do anything, you better at least make the playoffs. If not the division, right? Um, Eagles 49ers shouldn't go nowhere. The Cowboys really shouldn't go nowhere. And really, it's just up to it's just up to the Vikings and Seattle to to just play their style of football. Because the Vikings made it last year with the worst defense. You can only go up, right? So and then Seattle just being so consistent, they just just by default, Cardinals being sorry, the South, NFC South not as great. Geno actually being a good quarterback. That, pro, that that consistency just gets you there. So, because what Russell Wilson made it pretty much every time, just being consistent. You know what I mean? So if Gina's consistent, they'll get in. So uh, I like it for sure. I, I I think I think this might be the one where we might get all seven right. Yeah, Seattle. They won nine games last year with Gino's first year as the QB, rotating uh, running backs, and then just a lot of different rookies and young guys. You just gotta think. They're going to take a leap forward. So Seattle could be in play to even get a uh, a guaranteed playoff spot, like win a division possibly if they make a leap and the 49ers fall off just a little bit. But, yeah, Seattle should definitely be a lot. Like you said, with the way they – the Pete Russ and uh, Doug Ball and Lockett and Bobby Wagner, like just that consistency over time, they basically brought back their entire roster. So just – Piece alone should help them be successful. I forgot the addition of Bobby Wagner and the fact that Jamal Adams the whole entire season, and you got two guys who at least got the you know at least a leadership standpoint should make you a better team. So yeah, I, you 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 got you got to like Seattle. Look, okay, so outside of 49ers and Eagles, who who is the team you like? I, I know they in. I don't care what happens. Like the theory could be the theory all it wants, but I know this team getting in. Uh, Seattle. Okay. I like I like it too. I uh, I think I yeah. Um I guess if I didn't choose for another Eagles and let's say for me I take out Cowboys too cuz I got them pretty much ready the same. Seattle Seattle yeah. yeah. Seattle Seattle should, Seattle definitely should be a lot just because what if the Rams not good. Let's let's just say the Rams are not 500 team or the below 500. Well that's four wins right there that that you possibly can get. And be a four and two team in the NFC right there, and then you talk I'll talk about it. Uh, I forgot what division they play, but um, but whatever, whoever, whoever they do play is should be should should be an even kill. I mean, they, they don't have a first place schedule, so they're playing you know Lions and uh, as a second team, they're playing um, the NFC South. Whoever uh, I think I, I want to say Carolina came in second, so it could be it could be a, a bunch of bunch of different things over there. So. Um, I'm with you, bro. Like I do like my Vikings to be almost a lot. Not only cause I think that we, we're me and you are more real, uh, like realistic that they won 13 games. We know that's not happening because they really, really only won 11 or 10 games last year with the the Colts game and the Bills game not really being like not even outlier. Rashad. Those are like once in a lifetime type of game. I mean, like yeah, those are like some scenarios that you that you have to you can't even really seem like that on Madden. Like you turn the ball, you, like you. Turn the ball over, then Josh Allen turn the ball over, and you scored just by picking it up. <laughs> and then that Colts game, I mean, that was the greatest comeback in regular season history. So, I mean, that those are two. It's like yo, you you can't make this up scenarios right here. Yeah, I think I think, uh, and I think the, the what people are not realizing about the Vikings though. So Brian Flores, right? We we believe believe he one of the best defensive minds as far as coordinator in the game. He got a thirty one ranked defense when he went to Miami. They wasn't good defense either. He get there, they go from like allowing a lot of points to like top ten in in points allowed. So I'm not saying he gonna do that for Minnesota, but if he go from 31 to 25 or 31 to 24 is an improvement. And this Rashad, this is the first year because it's been in Minnesota where he has the same offensive coordinator and the same like he they, he hasn't changed. It's the first time. So I'm interested to see how like not having to learn a new system every single year. You know, especially for a veteran quarterback, play, plays in there, and then I, I just think the NFC South. I know we said we talked about like we talked about like how we know the Bucks won't be there. I do think the Falcons have a good chance. I, I do. Falcons have the second best odds in that division um, over the Panthers, but I just don't see why. Uh, like even it, honestly, even a even a Derek Carr injury still shouldn't scare me off because Jameis is right there now. 
can like do, we don't really believe in the Saints coach Dennis Allen as much as we do Arthur Smith, but if he's solid and Jameis can be solid, like I don't think they have to be crazy. It's just like you said, if Ritter does if Ritter does things that we don't expect, then okay, different story. But if if he's who we think we he is, we who we, who we think we are, you know, I think I think Saints almost not really a lock, but it would be disappointing if they don't make, win the division. In my opinion, a little disappointing. Yeah, yeah, they they have the most talent, the best quarterback. Yeah, it's an aging roster in some aspects, but they they should win the division. Um, yeah, if they don't, or if they miss the playoffs, it's definitely a letdown for the season. Um, what's your what's your take on Cowboys Eagles? NFC East has not had a back to back winner in I think twenty years. Yeah. Um, so do we have a Super Bowl hangover? I mean, we both got them as uh, the two seed, and our our formula put them out as the one seed. So do we think they replicate that as division winner, top of the NFC again? Like, do you think there's any pullback? Cowboys have been back to back twelve win seasons. You lose your OC, no more Zeke. You moved on from second year without Cooper. Do they replicate the twelve wins? McCarthy calling plays. Like how you see that shaking out for those two? Yeah. Um. So as far as the theory goes, the two highest rated teams are the Eagles and the Cowboys on, on, on the NFC side, which which is crazy, right in itself. So I think I think Cowboys have a great chance. I have them at the same record. I think because of the tiebreakers, I have Eagles. Excuse me, Eagles win the division. But bro, to be honest with you. I really like the Cowboys. Like, as far as like a over, under, I think it's like nine and a half, ten and a half. Or no, I think it's nine and a half. I would take the over and kind of be confident. Like, like you said, like they haven't had a. There's no repeater in this division. I feel like everybody's gun gun horn to trying to stop the Eagles, where the Cowboys are just going to fly on the radar and just continue to win games. Like, I know Dak Prescott get a terrible rap all the time, but a lot of teams would rather have Dak Prescott than their current quarterback. So and for our, our 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 ranking list, we we say only like twelve teams got or eleven teams got quarterbacks that, that might be better. So I would adding Stephon Gilmore, Rashad, on one side. So now you got somebody who's who's who can lock down a the side. Then the other side is somebody who make plays on the ball. With on top of that, yeah, both somebody had the biggest contract uh, NFL history, but he might not be the best player on defense in the game. I we I believe Micah because what he can do pass rushing and in coverage. So. The defense gonna get him going, and if Tony Pollard and this Deuce Vaughn, aka little Maurice Jones Drew Jr. out here can, you know, can fill the Zeke void, they have a chance, man, to to fly under the radar as the America's team, right, and and make a championship game or make a, a Super Bowl. I think because of the tension on the Eagles, they're like they get the they 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 probably feel better in this type of role because. When Romo came, got hurt, and Dak came in, they went thirteen and three. Nobody, nobody expected. And so I don't think nobody expected the Cowboys to go to the Super Bowl. Hey, I know we're gonna probably transition, but I gotta throw this piece out there too. So they haven't won the division in twelve years. <laughs> Giants. I mean, DC won it in twelve. Eagles in thirteen. Cowboys in fourteen. Washington in fifteen. Cowboys in sixteen. Eagles in. 17, Cowboys again in 18, Eagles again in 19, Washington again in 20, Cowboys in 21, Eagles in 22. Is it time for D.C. to get back in, or do the Giants maybe make a little – I mean, I know we're both down on Washington. Is, but since it Washington, 20, 20 years? Since we variables, um, the day ball, Daniel Jones combo, do they, do they ascend to the top of the NFC East? It's been 20 years. Since 2011, the Giants won last 2011. Damn. Um, they, so they won a Super Bowl the year too. I, I would I would say they have okay the the path to win the to the, win a division is your damn because to me to me to me when you have to wish for too much stuff. 11. Like when you have to wish for too much stuff, I don't know I don't know like because all right so you got to wish for. Not, not even like we don't wish for injuries, but like you gotta you gotta hope for a pullback from Dak and Jalen Hurts, McCarthy to be a complete full of himself, calling plays. He, uh, so so I, I guess you had you had you had the formula right. You have McCarthy calling plays, 
Nick Sirianni lost both his coordinators. So how good of a coach is he really without his two guy, guys he trusts the most? Those are path on on and while you ascend up with Dan Jones and Brian Dayball in year two. So you have a path. I just don't know if you can win twelve games. Like if you thought if you thought Cowboys Eagles get nine wins, then I, I I might see it. But I don't know if they can get eleven twelve. So the path is there though. I think the path or at least the likelihood it could be there. It's, it's difficult though. Yeah, I don't I don't see. I just thought I'd throw it out there. You know, they haven't they haven't won a division in twelve years and they I mean they they the playoffs last year and we don't have them making it back. So uh, I I didn't know if they were maybe like a team that could take a leap up because we saw what Josh Allen did in his year two uh, you know, with day ball and stuff like that. They do bring Saquon Barkley back. And of course they got a loaded defense. You know, the receiving you know, they brought up a wall, but their receiving core isn't all that. But, you know, if they were to maybe make a trade for somebody mid season, you don't know. But I just thought I would throw the Giants out there since they haven't won the division since so twenty eleven. Would you would you pick all right, so obviously we can't do this, but let's let's just say we add another NFC team to the playoffs, the eighth seed. <laughs> do Giants would, would Giants be in yours? Like, would you like? Would you think they they probably the next best team or um, to 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 you know to make it back? If I had to throw in a a eighth seed, Packers? I'm probably I'm probably going to Bears. Okay, okay. And I mean, even even that is kind of outlandish, but I would probably say Bears. Okay, okay. I think I, I think I think I think I wouldn't be too far off with the um for me probably be probably probably the it might be it, it might it might be Giants for me. It might be it might be Giants for me. Maybe or maybe Atlanta would probably be my next two teams. Um Yeah, cuz if we look at our record of yeah, I who was I got Giants as, as my will be my 8 seed. So, I'm going Giants. Yeah. I go Giants. Yeah, mine would be the Bears cuz I, I got the Bears at 9 and 8. So, I would, I would probably have to say the Bears. All right, last question before we take a break. Will the Lions lion? Like everybody, Possibly. Everybody hyping them up. Like, uh, <laughs> game game one on national TV versus the Chiefs. That's, 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 big, that's big time right there. Hey, it's, it's very possible, man. Very, very possible because they – they have everything set up to go right, so you got to think it's going to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Aaron Rodgers, who has tormented that division, so has Brett Favre. Green Bay is going to start Jordan Love, who does not have Hall of Famer written all over him. Minnesota, they're still solid, but they're they're the they're the elite. Franchise that has always underachieved, you know, no Super Bowl championships and just fluky stuff always happening in the playoffs with them. And then you got the Bears, who uh, it's it's the Bears, man. They'll they'll have like a year here or there, but they're still holding on to nineteen eighty five. <laughs> so it's all set up for the Lions. Who haven't won a division since 1993? It's, I mean, so basically, this could be the 30 year mark when y'all win a division. It's all set up for you, <laughs> but I can see it going wrong. Something, something can happen where it goes wrong. I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely laid out perfectly. Like it, it's laid out perfectly, bro. Like you, you build through the trenches the right way. You didn't give up on a guy like Jerry Goff. You gave him weapons. You're working on the defense. Like you got a good, I think you got a good coaching staff. At least you know whatever. You got you, you're not afraid to to mix it up. I mean, I think St. Brown, Jameson Williams, and Gibbs can be a a great core for somebody if if Goff is in the future. But he's still young. So yeah, I, you're right. Everything's set up. 30 year anniversary for winning the division. I. Hey, I don't. You're right. Lion is is all is all set up for them, but yeah, they could lion. So let's take a break real quick, and then we'll hop we'll hop to the FC side and uh get ready for some football, man. All right, we back. AFC time, Rashad. Um, 
So this, all right. So this one be a little different. So, so I go first. I'll, I'll say my teams. I have um, my one seed, the Chiefs. I know Kelsey got banged up since we did this, but hopefully he be back. Uh, Bills, Bengals, and Jaguars as my division winners. I have my wild card. I have Ravens, Dolphins, and the Chargers. Um, so that that is my AFC my AFC playoff. Uh, what's yours? I don't know how this is going to turn out because I had a lot of teams with a bunch of wins. <laughs> uh, but the team I am most confident in is my one seed. That's the Miami Dolphins. Um, I had them as the one seed because I think Tua can be the MVP this year if he uh, plays 15 or 16. They were like 8-3 and three with him, so I think they can be the one. Um, <laughs> like you just talked about with the Chiefs, with Kelsey, Burrow got banged up in the, in the summer, so – uh, I have Bengals at two, and I have Chiefs at three. So we'll see how that plays out. And I have the Jags at four as my division winner. And then the wild card, this was tough. Um, but I did go with the Broncos. I did go with the Ravens. And I also went with the Chargers. So we kind of had some of the same teams again. Uh, just a little bit off. I know you had the Bills, and I did not. And um, but I think that was our only one we disagreed on. Um, you went Bills, and I went, I went Broncos. Yeah. So all right. So yeah, we yeah, so every team in the AFC for either one of us has at least a minimum ten wins. So if you don't have at least ten, you're not getting in. All right. So here go here goes a theory again. It's based off the calculation of the of of our uh, formula for the theory. Chiefs and Bills are our highest two teams in the NFL based off the theory, um, even higher than Eagles and Cowboys. Uh, Ravens and Jaguars as the division winners. Bengals, the Tennessee Titans, and the Miami Dolphins. Uh, based off the tiebreaker, I think Miami plays Broncos. They have the same number, but Dolphins edge out Broncos because we had we, we both had them beating um, – we both had the Dolphins beating the Broncos uh, this yeah, season. Yeah. So as far as teams that just missed out, um, for me, my my uh, eighth seed will be the Tennessee Titans. Yours will be the New York Jets. So not only do you have the Bills not making it, you don't even have them as the eighth seed. <laughs> so 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 Rashad Rashad is fully uh, out on the Buffalo Bills. No Leslie Frazier. So hey, the path is there. Diggs complaining. The path is there, right? So I, I'm not gonna, we're not we're not going to go into that. Um, but the theory has the Broncos just missing out who you have in there. I don't have making it at all. Um, and according to also in the AFC, Chargers, Jets, and Steelers are all right there lumped together right behind the Broncos. So the problem is, Rashad, the AFC is too damn good. That's the problem. So it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna, like, it's gonna be with a lot of good teams that go miss out. Like, for example, if the Browns don't make the playoffs. Are we saying they didn't have a successful season? Like, because we didn't name them yet. And even the theory has four other teams in front of them. And I still think at my record, and I think your record too, pretty much had them like, what, 500 or 89, something, something around there. So the pretty, fact that yeah. the fact that we got them 89 and they still not on the theory list or on our list is already crazy in itself. So um, for us, we have two teams again. So we, we have 10 teams from last year making it uh, from this past season. But this time we have Dolphins and – well, the theory have Dolphins and Titans making it. And who missing out this time? The Chargers and who I'm missing? Um, the Chargers missing uh, it. Last year, Kansas City was one, Buffalo two, Bengals three, Jags four. Chargers were five because they played the Jags. Uh, Baltimore was six and Miami was seven. Okay. Oh, oh my, Miami made a playoff last year? Yeah, Buffalo had to barely scrape by Miami. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Dolphins did make the playoffs last year. Okay, so so we're replacing. So we just got the tight. The, the theory got the Titans making the playoffs. Um, which I mean, with a healthy Titans team, and you said last year, right? They was five. They had a good winning streak. They just collapsed at the end. They might have one more good year in them, but but bringing up D Hop, Trillon Burks getting better, King Henry still there, Tannehill still the quarterback, and Mike Vrabel, who he has a top ten coach. So because. I think I think we we can say safely say this. We put Vrabel in that John Harbaugh, Mike Tomlin category where, like, he can make anything out of a roster, right? I, I, and I think 
I think he's he got guys who want to run through a brick wall. Like, if you will, the 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 more expensive version of a Dan Campbell, right? Dan Campbell kind of got the same qualities. It's just he's not <laughs> as good yet, right? So uh Mike Vrabel is, is the most expensive of uh, Dan Campbell. So anyway, um it's 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 hard with this side because this side we're, we're I mean, outside of my Bills, who I had them at 13 wins, and you have Broncos at 12, that's, that's our one difference. You are very high on the Dolphins. I'm right behind you with the Dolphins. I, 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 I think, I think, I like Dolphins to make the playoffs. Like if I had to put a bet on it to make the playoff bet, I like Dolphins. I think. Well, we, we said whatever eight three last year, like right there to the tool injury. So, um, I believe in them. I, I definitely believe in Jaguars, Rashad. I can tell you right now. Like if I had to put a pairing of win the division, Jaguars is in every is in every one. Like if I had to take only two, like only pick two teams only, Jaguars would be paired with somebody else because I'm that confident that they win the division. I think even though I had Titans one game behind, I'm very confident the Jacksonville Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence, year two of Doug Peterson offense would make the playoffs. I, I really just conf- I really just want to see like when does that Chiefs Bills Bengals three headed monster fall off? You already, you got the Bills falling off this year. I still have all three as the top three seeds, but it was, it's going to happen at some point. And because you can't pay everybody, right? Your window closes. Chiefs got two. Bengals been to one. Bills have yet to get to one. So um, I, 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 wonder, I wonder if this if you're right this year, like this is the year that, that at least one or two might not make it to that second weekend. Like that's going to be very interesting to see. The AFC with the NFL is divided up into – Two 16-team conferences. And when it comes to the AFC, I think you could say about seven make it. There's going to be five or six teams that will be disappointed because they won't even make the playoffs to start off with. Like I, I think outside of the Colts, you're starting Anthony Richardson, Ricky QB. I think they like to make the playoffs, but if the Colts don't make the playoffs, it's it's not a – they don't consider that a successful seed. The same thing for the Texans. You start to see Jay Stroud. If you don't make the playoffs, it's not an unsuccessful season. Depending upon who you ask and, you know, just based upon social media, that season's already going down the rails. The Raiders may think they can make the playoffs, mm. but, you know, just the stuff they have going on, uh, I don't think – a team that's mentioned in playoff contention. So that's I but I think the other 13 teams, um man, I, I think all of them have a realistic shot at the playoffs. And I think all of them would be disappointed if they did not make the playoffs. So every other team, of course Kansas City, reigning defending Super Bowl champions, they expect to be here. They expect to win the title. The Bengals expect to win the title. Uh the Bills probably would say they expect to win the title. I think even teams like the the Ravens and the Steelers, like they just have like championship proven coaches and pedigree where they don't expect to be in the playoffs. They expect to go win a title. But if we're just talking about from our standpoint of where we gauge these teams, I think in the AFC only Kansas City, Cincinnati, um, probably Buffalo and the Ravens because they paid Lamar. I think those are the only four teams you should say want and expect to win the Super Bowl this year. But everybody else, like, we didn't even talk about New England yet. They expect to be in the playoffs every year, and they're a 500 ball club since Brady left. We're basically saying they might be the fourth team in the division. So, and the same thing with the Browns. Like, the Browns have moved all kind of stuff to get Deshaun Watson over there. Yeah, historically, they are not the greatest franchise. They don't have this plethora of success. But because they have Watson, Chuck, Cooper, uh, Miles Garrett, and some of the other things on that roster, the Browns expect to be in the playoffs. I mean, they made their playoffs, and this is going to sound like a shot, but it's not. They made their playoffs with Baker Mayfield, and you moved on from him and upgraded to Watson. So you're expecting to make the playoffs when you win and got a better quarterback, and you gave him guaranteed money. Yep. Um, Chargers, they are hoping they don't collapse in the playoffs again. They paid Herbert. So they all these teams are expecting to be in the playoffs, man. So you're already looking at 
so half of the conference is gonna be disappointed from jump because they're not gonna make it. Yeah, yeah. And I'll say I, I think I, I think I can agree with you on the Raiders and the Colts and Texans as being three teams that doesn't expect much. Now Vegas expect Texans to win seven games. I think that's a little ludicrous, but um, like you said, the, the rest of the conference it should get there, right? And the like you you said you said Dolphins and Chargers like they. Sh- they need to win the championship. They, they, the whole roster. They have superstars on the roster. Jalen Ramsey bringing him over. Xavier Howard. You done paid uh, Bradley Chubb. You got Teron Armstead from New Orleans. Uh, Tyree Hill from Kansas City. Chargers paid all this money for uh, for Mac. You paid Bosa. You brought J.C. Jackson over. You paid Derwin James. Like like you said, you paid Herbert. You, you drafted another receiver to keep Kellen Moore or bring him over. Like. Those guys expect to win a Super Bowl, not to mention the three-headed monster we talked about, and got to include Ravens in there because if Lamar stay healthy, it's really a four-headed monster in the AFC, right? It just and then oh, yeah, like is eighty percent of the games he starts, and when he's out there, they're uh, they're a juggernaut. So, so yeah, that's so, what, and on top of that, teams you expect to win it. <laughs> and on top of that, you have you have the Ravens who like you know they decide they're gonna pass ball this year. That's scary. That's scary. So quick, I, I, I know I know the theory. Rashad himself and myself did not put the Jets in. I do want to talk about them real quick. Like, I, I just like I do you. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I, I made this comp comp to you to a couple people already. What is the difference between the Jets and the Packers when you talk about roster construction and what they have? So Sauce Garner, Jerry Alexander, two elite corners. Kenny Clark, Quinn and Williams, at least the front seven on both sides are pretty are pretty outstanding talent, right? On top of that, you got a young receiver in Garrett Wilson. They had Christian Watson as a rookie last year, who athletically has a build to be a star, right? Or at least a potential. It, when you add that receiving core together, Romeo Dobbs, he on the he on he on the Packers. But guess what the Jets did? They took Cobb and Lazar from the Packers to, to the Jets. And then you got David Cook, Brees Hall. AJ Dillon, Aaron Jones. The only the, the difference is the O line on teams both suck. <laughs> so so and then Rashad, where Lafleur came from, San Francisco. Where Sala came from, San Francisco. So they're the same team. If you wasn't high, we was high on the Packers last year. So I think because they're in the AFC, I don't have them in. Yeah, I know you have them at twelve wins, pretty much tied with a lot of teams you had in. But I'm not a believer in them because not only is Aaron Rodgers a year older. Outside of Tom Brady, and I guess if you want to say Brett Favre, have we seen anybody really like at that age dominate? Like it's very, very rare. And to, I don't know. I think I think like you said, you mentioned every other team, the Jets. <laughs> they have they have aspirations to win a Super Bowl for bringing over Aaron Rodgers because they can't get QB right. Mark Sanchez to Geno Smith, even though he didn't get a fair shake. Um, Sam Darnold, Zach Wilson. Like they, they don't try. Rashad, they don't try twice since we started the playoff theory quarterback. So it's it's they expect to win the championship, and we don't even have it in the playoffs. Like now you got Bronco, you got Broncos, and I and I had the bill. I mean, I mean Broncos there with Sean Payton and Russell Wilson with that defense and Sean Payton offensive mind. You expect them to make the playoffs. Like this is so hard, bro. Like I know we're gonna get this wrong. I I think if we get all seven right NFC and we get at least four right. In the AFC, I'm okay, cause this 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 is this too hard, Rashad. Cause you can't tell me you you there's there's a path for every body Steelers, Jets, Chargers, teams that we didn't say they're gonna make it in. It's a path for all of them to get in. And like I said, Browns if they mix, if Joe Burrow missed Week One, which I think he's on track to start. Now, what did Browns win that game? Not above five hundred. Like they can get in. So I'm I'm a little scared on the AFC. Um, but like I said, we had this very much similarities, which is order base. I, I'm not a believer in the Jets. Um, I love Mike Tomlin. I just don't know if Kenny Pickett can take that step. So those are two teams that I know a lot of people want to get in there. I just don't know if Kenny Pickett is ready. I know we talked about it way before. Like if you ain't got a top ten quarterback in the AFC, you not even well like a top seven. Like you can be hard for you to get in there. And I don't know where you where we where everybody think Kenny Pickett at, but. I don't think he's over Mahomes, Allen, Burrow, Trevor Lawrence, Lamar, Justin Herbert, Tua. Like it's it's dangerous over there, AFC. Very dangerous. It's 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 crazy, man. It's so tough. Like the Jets, for example. 
I'm kind of leaning into them. I mean, of course, on my personal rankings, they didn't make it, but I kind of leaned into them because they were six and three before the bye week. That included a win over the Bills and the Packers and the Dolphins and the Steelers. But they were six and three before the bye. And then you completely fell apart. Like they only won one game after their bye week. So I was thinking, well, if a majority of that six and three consisted of Zach Wilson being the starter. So <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, even if he's the Aaron Rodgers from last year where he was just decent, you would have got the 10 wins off of that. So you basically kept the same team. You add Dalvin Cook, you add Rodgers, you add Lazard. Um, they're going to still have the uh, what, a third, fourth place schedule. Hard, but you're going to have a, a fourth place schedule because – Dolphins and uh, Buffalo both made it, and New England was right, right below. So, I feel like with a four-play schedule, and you made improvements at quarterback, and you added a running back to kind of offset the Breeze Hall thing, and you kept everything else intact. You got a guy coaching for his job. I think the Jets could do a little something, but if they stay a seven and ten team, it also wouldn't surprise me because it's the Jets. Yeah, they. They are just one of those teams that doesn't get it right. And, uh, yeah, Pittsburgh, man, Mike Tomlin, one of the best coaches ever. You got Kenny Pickett, who we think he takes a, a year or two leap. But at that same time, man, <laughs> that team is, man, it's they out. have a, a nice team, but the division, can they even win the division? Can we talk about Cincinnati and Baltimore in front of them? So, man, it's just going to be a, a tough nut to crack it while you look at it. The AOC is going to be interesting. Of course, we haven't really accounted for injuries or trades or just people underperforming. But the AOC is going to be interesting, man. It's a very loaded conference. So, if if you had – all right, so outside of the – since we both we both love the Bengals and Chiefs as far as consistency and Jaguars, is there is there – I mean – is is Dolphins your one main lock that you said no matter what I know they're gonna be in it or because if Tua get hurt again, like what happens? You know what I mean? Like, and that's the thing. Like, I I'm hot on the Dolphins, but can I really lock them in with? They're my one seed, but can I really lock them in with Tua's concussion history? Because he's kind of playing by a different set of rules. Like, if he get knocked down in the game, and they even think he hit his head. He gonna go into some special kind of protocol just because of you know historical behavior. He won't get the same normal treatment. Right. If you tell me to just lock in one AFC team, I'm locking in Jags. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. They had a really year two at Peterson. I'm locking in Jags. You saying just lock in a team, and that might be surprising to people because it's like why would you just lock in Kansas City, who's been there <laughs> the last decade, but. uh that division is tough. I mean, I can see a scenario where Chargers adding in killing more, they go and become the one seed or win a division. I can see that. So I'm locking in Jags. I think they have the, the easiest path to prosperity in the AFC. I mean, Joe Burrow had a calf strain. Lamar's going to be motivated. He got his bag now. We talked about still talked about Browns. Tua's history, the Jets. I mean, we ain't really talking about Belichick. Like he, he going, they got an OC now. He's still one of the best coaches ever. They always have a top ten defense. I mean, bro, come <laughs> on, man. Just, give, give me Jazz as a lock, and I'm good. Hey. And that's the high praise we gave Mike Vrabel. Hey, I'm about to say, like. I, I I almost got Titans and I mean the, the theory the theory is Titans and Jags so but but as far as clear path the AFC South has two of the of the three teams that we say has no shot Texans and Colts so you have to take the Jaguar just off just off because the, the strength of that alone because you talk about the Jets fourth place schedule well shit they got to play the whole AFC West that's three teams right there like <laughs> Broncos Chiefs. And 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 uh, and uh, charges like it plus your east plus your division. So that's just that's right there is already like it's so hard. Like because who, who I guess in fourth place they, they do get Texans and they do get um 
uh um who was in it uh who was that bad AFC uh what division I'm missing? Texans they get AFC East. Well see the AFC East is the the the, the, the Jets get the fourth place schedule. They play Texans. AFC South is Texans. AFC uh North is shit. They get they get one of them. Damn. That like the fourth place <laughs> schedule what? Is, is either, <laughs> no breaks. There's, there there is no breaks in in this situation. So like that's and that's everybody AFC, AFC East though. Like Cause Dolphins got to play AFC West too, and somebody from the AFC North, and some, <laughs> and and whoever got to play Jacksonville, <laughs> Buffalo, like they're cut out. They 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 really had no breaks. So that's the that's the scary part. Cause I think um like I guess the only time the only the team that got the worst chance in the AFCs is the team that got New Orleans. Cause if we think New Orleans is a playoff team, right? Cause they had to play the uh, the AFC East play the NFC South uh, like as as their seventeenth game. So whoever get the Saints, I, I, I want to say who who is that? Who's that getting the Saints this year? Is that Miami? Nope, the New England. So a team that we a team that we th- don't have in the playoffs, they get the AFC East division. Uh, uh, AFC North, they they get um they get Pittsburgh, <laughs> and on top of that, you get New Orleans. Uh, and the and you got to play Dallas and Eagles. <laughs> like like the, that that schedule is ridiculous. Um, I think Pittsburgh they got to have the hardest schedule. Got to. More likely to get in four teams, AFC East or AFC West. To get or four, AFC North. Or the, ooh, okay. Because the, the South won't get in all four. So what AFC division is more likely to get in all four teams? Because now with the seven teams, all four can't make it. All right. Good. That's a great question. Most likely team, most likely division to get all four teams in. I'm going to roll with the I roll with the AFC North. Me too. <laughs> I roll the A. Cause like I said, even if even if Kenny Pickett take the leap, like the problem is I don't know what 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 the leap is because you name all the quarterbacks, he's not better than none of the none of the like elites, and now they all in the AFC. But let's say he leap right up to them. Mike Tomlin, that defense is stellar. The offense is good. Like you said, the Browns, they do everything right. They got they got everything right to win a division. They just end the wrong division. <laughs> and then Bengals and the Ravens are who they are. So uh, yeah, give me AC North. If I if I had to choose all four, I'll take AC North. Yeah, I mean, I would say the same because as long as Lamar and Burrow are standing, they're gonna win 10 games. Pittsburgh has never been under 500, so they can probably if Pickett takes the leap, they can win ten games, yep. and the Browns have the talent to win ten games. If you get ten, normally you're in, but I can see every team in this one getting ten. Um, the the close close second would be AFC East. Um, I, I can't say AFC West because I'm down on the Raiders, and I can see the Broncos improving from last year. But not to the extent where they make the playoffs at the same time. So I can I can see a wide range of outcomes with the Broncos. So I'm with you in a AFC North for sure. But I would have the AFC East as the close, close uh, second because that's Belichick, that's Jets, Dolphins, and Bills. But at the same time, we can see the Jets not clicking, Tua getting hurt. Uh, I think Mac Jones is just. Baker Mayfield with lesser reputation. So I can see the Patriots not being as great as well. And the Bills lost Leslie Frazier. Just different little nuances and things, man. I can see I can see it falling apart faster for other divisions than the AFC North. Who do you think got the hardest schedule this year? I just looked it up. Uh hardest schedule. Just by just by who you who you think got the hardest schedule? It is. It so so so, so two AFC teams are top five hardest, but number one is the Patriots because they got New Orleans. Because damn, you got New Orleans, you got your division. That's as eight more. Uh, that's uh, what six more games. You got uh, a an AFC North opponent that finished fourth, which is, I think is Steelers or Browns, and you play the NFC East that had three playoff teams last year, <laughs> and you get New Orleans yeah. while while you know um, somebody get Carolina, somebody the, the um. Bills get bucks. Like, <laughs> that's easy now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the as far as the hardest playoff, the hardest schedule that we have a, of a playoff team is 
The Miami Dolphins at 30. We have them in Chargers at 29th. Chiefs 28th. Vikings 27. And then Bills. Well, for me, Bills 26. Um, as far as playoff hardest. And the easiest we got in the playoffs, the Saints is number two in the NFL. 49ers, number four. Um, And then Seattle, number eight. Eagles, 10. Hey, Pittsburgh, seven, though, man. So so the path for Pittsburgh is there. Um, Carolina, the theory has Carolina up there as a, as a variable to get in. They, they're top five. So Falcons, Saints. So the Colts have the third easiest schedule, Rashad. And we had we we said they have no shot. That team that, that that's when you know you sorry. Yeah, they just man, rookie quarterback, a uh, new head coach. You're gonna trade Jonathan Taylor. Michael Pittman is your only real weapon. The O line is there, but it's starting to change a little bit because they had Andrew Luck. You didn't have an O line. Now you got the O line. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I can't roll with the Colts under any circumstances. Yeah, I'm about to say, that that right there just locked me in for my little Saints 49ers Jaguars parlay to win the division. If Saints, Saints got to have a, Saints got the second easiest division, I mean, schedule, 49ers got top five, and that's without a quarterback. And then Jaguars is 15th, but when you got Colts and you got Texans, that's that's automatically. Um, so, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good one, Rashad. Uh, any, anything else you want to get out before we, get out, uh, before we start this NFL season, man? You want to throw any award predictions out there? Oh uh, yeah, let's do let's do some. Uh, all right, so, all right, um, MVP or Tua for MVP. You got Tua. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Lamar. I'll go Lamar because if you're gonna pass the ball, we already can't stop him running the ball. So if he passes the ball at a high clip like he did in his in, in his MVP year, he have a good chance to replicate it when you actually have more weapons now. Like he didn't have weapons then. So now he got OBJ. You, you draft the Bateman by now. You got Flowers. Andrews is still tight end. So, and, and the Ra- the Ravens. I mean, if you beat the Bengals and the Steelers and Browns, you just shit. You might deserve it. So I, I go Lamar Jackson. Uh, Coach of the year. Surprisingly, but well, Dayball was an outlier because they only won nine games. So that was an outlier um to be to win that few games but be the coach of the year but it was well deserved mm-hmm. so this year if they make the playoffs you might have to go at Robert Sala um but if the Broncos turn it around I can see Sean Payton in the consideration the story line. and uh Shoot, man, I can't even think about it from the NFC that can be in it because they all we all got them making the playoffs from last year. So yeah. I, I'm about to I say really, Dan Campbell was the only one. Robert Sala. I'm going Dan Campbell when that makes sense because, like you said, they ain't win the division in 30 years. So if they win the division, and let's say let's say you compete with the four down the Eagles for like a bye, you probably get it because four down the Eagles they're not gonna win it. I mean, there's no way. I mean, Sirianni could get it, I guess, because he got no coordinators, but. I don't think nobody really paying attention to that like I am, as far as like losing coordinators and how it might impact. But maybe maybe Kyle Shanahan because he's the one that got the worst quarterback. In the- I'll throw out one NFC guy that could probably win it if they make the playoffs. Lafleur. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm with you. Shit. Lafleur. McVay. Any any of any of <laughs> any of them. Shit. J- they ball might go back to back if you win the NFC East. Uh, at the twenty years, <laughs> um, let's go. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rookie of the year. Who you? Who you? Who you? Who you like as a young young guy there? Rookie of the year, man. Offense or defense, don't matter. Either one. Because he's gonna get a chance to get the touches, probably Bajan. Okay. Do you, I was about to say because like even like Herbert beat Justin Jefferson. Dak had beat uh I think Dak had beat out Zeke I believe so they usually give it to the quarterback do you you don't you don't you don't see um we got we got three day one starters now because Herbert didn't start day one and still beat Jeff Jefferson so what do you think a rich I, young I don't think the numbers to do it because Stroud is going to be going to Robert Woods uh Mechie, Tank Dale Nico Collins um Bryce has an uh, agent Thielen a rookie himself in Mingo and Ant Richardson has Mike Pittman. 
I don't think they'll they'll have the numbers to get it. I, I think Bajan is in the best situation. I think Bajan because Gibbs is going to lose some volume to Montgomery in certain aspects. So I, for all this, I'll say probably Bajan. Yeah, I would say Bajan. And I, my close second would be Ant Richardson just because if he's Cam Newton-esque with the rushing touchdowns, that would be his path because he might have 15 pass touchdowns, but 10 rushing touchdowns, now you got 25. And that's way more than Bajan we're going to have. So it's possible, right? Um, And I and I guess I'm just, I'm just make something up. Most improved team. Like, who do you think would be, like, the most improved team? Oh, um, man. I can't say Jazz because they got hot the second half of the season. I guess I got to go with Broncos because they were terrible last year, and I got them making the playoffs. So I guess I got to say Broncos. Yeah, I'm going to go to a team that I don't have in the playoffs, but I'm going to go I, – I, I guess I'll go uh, – uh, let me go Titans, just because of the fact that everybody they, they was one C and actually being great, and then they fell off, and everybody still think they out, out of the picture. And I think they're going to be annoying as hell because when you talk about great quarterbacks, you don't name none of them, right? Uh, you, you don't name Tannehill before it took a lot of time before you name Tannehill, and then we talk about Steelers and the Jets on the outside looking in. I think more people would pick them in charges than than the Titans, right? So I'm gonna go Titans as the most improved because they if they get double digit wins, they messing somebody up. Okay, they get in like our theory got them in. They're messing somebody up. Yeah, because like, the Titans the Titans miss the playoffs. I don't think the NFL world will care. Like nobody will care at all as far from a from a NFL standpoint because there's no storyline. They're boring. It's Tennessee small market. Outside of King Henry and D Hop, what, what, what are we talking about, right? So if they get in the playoffs based on our theory, they mess it up for everybody. So because that's that's now a spot taken away that we already got limited spots of. So I go Tennessee. So that's our playoff theory, man. It's gonna be crazy, Sean. Uh, a few quick easy ones, were a little a little bit of fun. Most likely to land Caleb Williams. <laughs> yeah, let me go. He said he said situation. He he ain't going to Arizona. He's going to go back to school if he don't like the situation. So, I, all right, in that case, I'm going to go Tampa. I think he come out if Tampa number one no matter what because that's just a for Florida destination. No, no tax money there. You still got Godwin. I know they might not pay Evans, but at least you got the ability to to like get the reins and a new coaching system. You might get a great offensive mind guy over there. So, I'll go. I'll go there because. They're not gonna fire Gannon, who just got there, who defensive minded in Arizona. So I'll go Tampa Bay. I'm gonna go with Arizona with the Raiders being a close second. All right. That's hey, a- who you got as uh first coach to be fired? Tabos. <laughs> Tabos. <laughs> um, sorry, my brother. <laughs> I'm gonna go Ron Rivera. Cause we both put DC as like a sorry team. Yeah. So if if DC does not do what we think they're gonna do early, I, I I'll go Ron Rivera. Ooh, could they get Arab enemy there? Try to get try to see if he can get him the reins. It's not bad. I I think I I don't think Tom Bowles make it out of week five. It, it's gonna be a, I'm with you. We both got Bucks being sorry too. So yeah, I can I can see Bucks or Commanders both firing their coach before what before October. It's gonna it's gonna be another Todd Bowles is another another Bill O'Brien situation. If you was gonna fire me in four weeks, you might as well just did it now. <laughs> Cause, Cause I don't I don't get cause like let me see let me, let me go back to this schedule real quick. Tampa Bay, all right. So we we had them winning one game, and we had we had them. You haven't beat New Orleans. I got to beat in Chicago. If they lose the games that we said, they might not win a game until <laughs> November. <laughs> I don't think that's they could, crazy. So, so you know, and, and like I said, we could, we kind of gave. I think we gave them two wins. I don't really think we like wanted to. No, <laughs> not really. I got Bucks as the worst team, man. Todd Bowles is out of here before week five, man. But that by week, he gone, bro. He's gone. All right, we'll, we'll do two more, then we'll get up out of here, man. First QB to get benched this year. Who you got? Damn, because I, I don't want to double down on Baker and on the Bucks. <laughs> But <laughs> oh shit! First one to get that's a hard, that's a hard one. I would say if it's not Baker, then who? 
If it's not Baker, because dart that, throw, it's probably Stafford. Stafford, yeah, because they 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 like this and been been uh been for whatever reason. Um, I mean, I only think it's that. I just think they'll just figure, you know, hey, let's just try to get a better pick in the draft. Yeah, Stafford, Staff, Stafford, Stafford, Stafford would be. I guess I'm looking at the board. He got to be number two. He has to be number two because you're not going to you're not going to bench you're not Mac Jones possibility. Like the, the top three, I had Stafford uh, because it's L.A. They might want to draft their guy. Then I went Baker two because it's the Bucks, and I went Tannehill at three. Tannehill, yeah. I just don't think like I don't they they don't even know who QB two is. So I don't think they go they just. Just leave Ten Hill starting and don't worry about it. <laughs> we, we don't know who QB two is. Um, and I, this is not really a shot, a shot, but if Brock Purdy is injured, Sam Darnold might be all right in San Francisco. If he can't do well there, he can't do well nowhere else. So this pretty is, much that's pretty much there. All right, you got you got, you got another one. What do you say? Can you see Russ being benched? They paid they paid a back quarterback some good money. Um, what's the dude name from uh, New England? Um, oh yeah, Jared. Jared Stidham. So, hey, Russ, hey, Russell will be the yeah. Russell fin wind out the top five for sure. Yeah, uh, I'll say this is the last one right here, man. Superstar most likely to get traded. I got Adams. Devontae Adams. Okay. Chris Jones. Yeah. Bosa just messed it up for him, oh, but for Chiefs, because now I want what he got, and I, I got I got two it's Super Bowls. <laughs> so Chris Jones, Chris Jones out of there. I hope they. Do, I hope they don't trade because the only team that got cash space is the Bears, and that would destroy my Vikings. <laughs> so I'm hoping this. I'm hoping they sign him because I do not want him in Chicago. So, um, yeah, I, I go Chris Jones. If I had to do an offensive star, well, shit, we went on Jonathan Taylor. I, I don't know where, but yeah, so Jonathan yeah. Taylor, wherever he come back, so uh, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, All defense. Right. I like Aaron Donald. If, if Rams start tanking, I don't think he'll stay. Yeah, I. I he, the pro- he, Loyalty, but I think he would probably still win and be competitive too. So I think Aaron. The problem with Aaron Donald is like, where's he going? Like, what's the? Is it a big market or he's just going to go like Chicago? It's still Chicago. Chicago should be number one for everybody for both of them, same position. So that, that's scary. So we'll see. We'll see because uh, Chicago got big, 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 big. Uh, what's the word I look for? Big uh, promise in in uh, future this year. So we'll we'll see about them. So that's our profit playoff theory. I'm excited. We got 10 right last time, Rashad. It's going to be hard to get the AFC right, but we, we got six of the same team, so I'm pretty confident that we at least get five five right. So, um, yeah, I, this, was, this was a great year. I'm glad we did the coaches poll and the, and the quarterbacks to actually lay it all out. I'm excited, man. Yep, season starts tomorrow, man. Yes, sir. Preach, preach Rashad. Yeah.